Listen up, all of you. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscolls, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're going to pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Hey! Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Let's ride! It's done fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. Whoa. We go back. When I say we go back, and that's the end of it, the money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down, see how he's getting on? Okay. How you getting on? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Okay, this is good. All right, that should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here.
He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. It was fine. Oh, my Come fault. on! You're pathetic. You know that?
Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this lad's car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We are opening this door. Four, three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Now light the fuse. Here we go. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. Search that train. <laughs> Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's king. I'll give you that. Okay, let's see if we can get this open. Come on. Papers. Bond? I don't think so. Here, make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. Give me those. I think I got them. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. <clears throat> what did you find? These. Bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride! Yeah. Okay, get on the train, quick, all of you. Any bright ideas, I kill all three of you. So behave. Come on, move!
I took away and go hell. So, we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed a Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well, then let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. Goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a leg? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Pick the wheel up. <laughs> Nearly there. You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. So? Yes. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. Go on, why are we so far behind? This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stole them clean away from them, it was, every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't, in spite of Dutch's talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. Yeah. So, 
What happened to your trap? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. But when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait. I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Yep. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait. What's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him. But we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay, thank you. track for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Okay, let's go. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. It's perfect. Are. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now, it is time to prosper. 
Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Jose. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck. East of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a, a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother. But we are safe. We make a bit of money here. Then we move again. Head out around them. Be west of Uncle Sam. In a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. into some pretty enough country called the Heartland. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. Arthur? Jose? Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> My boy, my dear boy, what's going on? Nothing, nothing at all. For the first time in weeks, nothing. We're free. We're free 
to plan our own futures once more. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it now. Keep it coming. Morning, Mr. Morgan. Really need you boys to get out there and hunt. Supplies are low. Actually, I'll come back to you later, okay? Stew without good meat is no stew at all, Mr. Morgan. Uh, you know, I'll just come back later. You're Arthur, right? My name ain't no concern of yours. I'm hungry. I don't give a damn. Look, you seem like a decent feller behind it all. Then you ain't a good judge of character. Do you want to cook right or not? Yeah, well, we'll leave it there then. Gonna be a good day. <laughs> Don't forget about me. I'm starving. How's it going? Hey, you're a little close there, aren't you? Arthur, how's the cigar? Not bad. But sometimes I prefer a pipe. I've been meaning to get one for ages. I left the old one in mm, black water. I know. Well, if I find one, you can have it. Well, you are a gentleman, Mr. Morgan. I raised you well. <laughs> oh, don't take too much pride in your work. <laughs>
Oh, oh. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out. Oh, sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. If you're gonna take the old man into town, you can take us too? Why, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> Can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> you ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Yeah. Got lumbago. It's very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. Go on. He's an old man. Lumbago, really? You all right there, friend? Lumbago. Help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. Good girl. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you have... 
haven't your pulse of old lizard? Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs>